Hi there, my name is John Stevens. I'm pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we are part of the ELCA. And welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree or the kids' room or the garage or the junk drawer, you know, you know the, the places. And uh, with um, getting vaccinated and all of that, I'm be able a, able to get to the Dollar Tree more often, and so that's a uh, hidden joy in all of that for me. So this is for the narrative lectionary, and we're still in Jeremiah. And this uh, section, um, Working Preacher, entitles uh, Letters to the Exile. Um, and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, writings to those who are in exile. And so it's this reminder of what God is up to, and um, a reminder, you know, it's it's a word of hope, it's a word of reminding, and there's that. So, um, two springboards for this to get into uh, talking about the importance of being reminded, the importance of the Word of God, the importance of, of walking in that. And, um, and uh, here's this prophet who is giving the Word and, and all of that. So, the item, two items. One is an item that I... Ha suggested a while back, and if you didn't use it, this is another, or even if you did, this is another place to use it, and it is a mermaid to-do list, where you press the button, and it changes. This is a dive for treasure, or dance with a dolphin, or make waves. Anyway. And the, a pen for the to-do list. This being reminded as you're writing, being reminded of what is around you, what is going on. And I see that in this uh, scripture of being reminded about uh, who our God is, being reminded about what is going on, being reminded that of the things that God has asked us to do. So, and this is the to-do list as a reminder. So there's that. The other thing is since this is talking about, uh, you know, the... A uh, letter to the exiles, a, a letter to th to God's people, a letter to um, someone in difficult times. There was uh, two or three weeks ago, I had the suggestion of using the friction pen, and that's a pen you can get from any office supply store. You can order it online, and it's friction r uh, f r i x i o n friction, and it is a pen that. Uh, the ink vanishes in the heat, and so I used it like a flame underneath, and the and the ink vanishes. You can see a children's sermon on the children's sermon page where I use that talking about the things I've done wrong. Well, another another attri attribute of that, another um, uh, hidden blessing, uh, hidden use of that, is that when the ink gets cool, colder than regular room temperature. It reappears, so you can use it almost as invisible ink. Where you have, so you're going to need to get two. Um, you know the they are uh, cooler ice things. They're they're uh, little packets. Little it's a strip of little pockets, and you put them in the freezer, and they freeze, and they're and they're thin. You know what I'm talking about. I can't think of the name right now, but you've got one, and you've got the other, and wrap it in. You could either put it in a pocket of something, but you, you're going to create a makeshift book. And then on a three by five card, you're going to write your you're going to write your thing with the friction pen, and you're going to then use heat, whether that be a, a lighter or um, you can actually just take an iron and go over it, and that heat will make that pen the ink disappear and it's gone until you put it into the into that book and you close it. And you can actually, so you can show that it's, you know, that it's just a blank piece of paper. You put it in there and you close it and you talk about how um, that this book of Jeremiah, it, the prophet Jeremiah talks about um, be, reminding people of God what God is up to and uh, writes a letter to those who have been um, outside of their home, exile. And you could maybe talk about that. And then you open up the book. You open up the cover, and in that piece of paper that's been inside that, it's been cooled down enough that the writing will be on that piece of paper. 
it's um it's pretty cool so uh no pun intended i guess pretty cool yeah all right i'll leave it at that so those are two things uh mermaid pen and uh using the other side of the friction pen about having the ink reappear so hope this can be useful in uh, in your children's sermon as you walk through jeremiah and help the kids and talk about this section all right thanks for stopping by I'm, I thank you for your partnership in this ministry and um, for, uh, especially for the last year and a half, uh, it's been, um, this has been a crucial part of my ministry of walking along with you. Um, it's, you know, been doing it for, you know, over eight years, almost nine years, and um, this, uh, this last year and a half has been really uh, uh, crucial for me. So thank you for all of your encouraging words and um, your blessings that you have brought to me. So, peace, and we will see you next week.